Have you ever felt like you're being crushed? There are many words that we can use in life when we're going through difficult circumstances. But one of the words that comes to me very often is that word crushed. I will feel like the world is caving in on me or, or all sides are closing in on me or I'll just feel, feel so down, so squeezed that the only word that I can really use to describe how I'm feeling is that word crushed. Well, if you're like me and you feel crushed sometimes, I have good news, the Bible clearly helps us with some advice when we feel that way. So if that's you, stay tuned for the next few minutes and we will be addressing that. Steve McKinney. I'm a missionary currently serving in the Philippines. I pastor a church as well as doing some other ministries in the Philippines and around Asia. And I'm coming to you now with a vlog where I'm going to be discussing life from the mission field and beyond. So anyway, back to our topic. Uh, do you feel crushed sometimes? Now there was a, a song uh, many, many years ago that is still being sung in a lot of churches and a lot of groups around the world. And it's called Trading My Sorrows. And the song goes something like this, I'm trading my sorrows, I'm trading my shame, I'm trading my pain, I'm laying all of those things down, and I'm picking up the joy of the Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm trading my sickness, you know, I'm, I'm trading all of those things that are going wrong in my life, and I'm trading those things for the promises and the blessings that God has for me. Now, uh, later on in the song, uh, it, it comes in with this part uh, that says, I'm pressed but not crushed. I'm persecuted, not abandoned. I'm struck down and I'm not destroyed. I love that song. It's a powerful song. It's, it's one of my top 20 favorite songs ever, but it is based on scripture, especially that last part right there is, is straight from the scriptures. And I'm gonna focus in on, on this term. I'm pressed, but I'm not crushed. Okay, I'm pressed, but I'm not crushed. What does that really mean? Because to press something and to crush something seems pretty similar. I'm gonna to go to the analogy of winemaking, okay? Now, in winemaking, if you will look it up on the internet, you will find that they use both of these terms pressed and crushed, okay? But in winemaking, it's very, very important that when they extract the juice from the grape, whether they call it pressed or crushed, they do it in a way where it's very gentle, uh, where they don't break the skins more than what is necessary, okay? And so when they break the, the grape, when they break the skin, they do it as gently as possible. You know, sometimes they use metal and sometimes they use so something of like, like a, a balloon balloon in order to, to, to press those grapes and turn it into juice, okay? Back in the old days, there would be music. They would make a, a ritual or have a, some sort of a, a festival type setting where they would uh, a step on the grapes and, and turn it into juice, okay? Uh, but the point is that you don't want to destroy those grape skins and those grape seeds and those grape stems, depending on what kind of wine. Uh, sometimes the stems would even be in there. And so, so basically what happens guys is, is they extract the juice, depending on what kind of wine they're making, they let it sit for a while with the skins of the grapes and things like that. Um, but, the main, but the main point is this, they press it, they don't crush it, okay? They press it, they don't crush it. Well, why am I bringing that up? Because I like to think that God is turning me and God is turning you, uh, God is turning us into a fine wine, something like a fine wine, a wonderful beverage that, that he can use us for in his kingdom in order uh, to refresh the nations and bring the nations to salvation through him. Amen? Uh, because we are called to be ambassadors. We are called to be on display. Uh, we are called to be a scent. We are called to be a flavor for the kingdom of God. Okay? And so I believe that, that we are being pressed but not crush. Now, of course, if you know the Bible, you understand that the Bible talks about pruning. The Bible talks about how the Lord uh, disciplines those that he loves as sons, okay? Uh, you know that the Bible shows us very clearly that the Lord allows attacks to come in on us so that we can become better and not bitter, okay? Those are some of the, the statements that, that a lot of people make in their preachings, okay? And so, you know, when, when something is happening to me, when I feel like I'm 
drowning, when I feel like I'm being crushed, uh, some very common things for me uh, is when I'm frustrated with my health, uh, when I'm frustrated with my finances, when it seems like, like the end is near financially, or when it seems like there's no moving forward in ministry, if I'm stuck in some way, uh, when I'm having a problem with a relationship, uh, whatever it is that's making me feel like I'm drowning, or whatever it is that makes me feel like I'm being crushed, okay, I have to take this scripture and I have to say, okay, guess what? I am pressed. I am not crushed. I'm persecuted. I'm not abandoned. I'm struck down. I am not destroyed. And I claim it because that's what God's word says. I am pressed, but I'm not crushed. I might feel crushed right now, but I realize and I confess that God is in control. And as long as I trust in him and as long as I rely on him and as long as I don't give up, I will not be crushed. Amen. And the actual scripture uh, is, is found in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and they are verses 8 and 9. And I'm going to read to you right now from the Amplified Version because it gives us a little more detail uh, about what this scripture means. And it says here, we are hedged in or pressed. Well, what does it mean to be hedged in? It means it, it's hard to break out. It, it, it's hard to move forward, okay? That, that's sort of what it means to be pressed. And, and God will do that uh, in our lives sometimes. He'll keep us where we are. And that's why we have to rely on him. And we have to say, I will be still. And I will know that he is God. I will not take matters into my own hands. I will not try to get the victory on my own. But I will wait on the Lord. And he will renew my strength, okay, while I'm being hedged in or while I'm being pressed. And he goes on, he says, on every side, troubled and oppressed in every way, but not cramped or crushed, okay? So we accept that the Lord allows us to be pressed, you know, hedged in, troubled, oppressed in every way, but he is going to deliver us and he is going to bring us through and we have to just confess but I'm not cramped, okay? I'm not cramped where I can't move at all, okay? I'm not crushed. In other words, I'm not destroyed. I'm not finished. We suffer embarrassments and are perplexed and unable to find a way out, but not driven to despair. Guys, I have to confess to you, sometimes I do feel embarrassed uh, with the attacks that come on my life, you know, and sometimes I am unable to find a way out. But even when I don't know the way out, even when I don't see that there's a bridge out, even though I don't see that God is going to make a way where there seems to be no way, I have to be careful to not be driven to despair. That is the goal of the enemy, is to drive me to despair. And if I will go there, if I will be driven to despair, then guess what? I will actually get crushed. And I don't want to be crushed. I only want to be pressed. Amen. Verse 9, we are pursued, which means persecuted and hard driven, but not deserted or not standing alone because Jesus is always with us. We are struck down to the ground, but never struck out and destroyed. I like that term struck out. You know, if you've ever watched a baseball game or played baseball, you know that you get three attempts, right? Okay. The first one comes and you miss it and it's strike one. And the second one comes and you miss it and it's strike two. And the third one comes and because you didn't give up, you hit it and you get that home run. That's really what it's like in the kingdom of God. Okay. Uh, we never get struck out in the kingdom of God. As long as we will remember, I am pressed, but I am not crushed. I'm persecuted. I'm not abandoned. I'm struck down, but I'm not struck out. I'm struck down, but I'm not destroyed. And so my friend, my encouragement to you right now is to just uh, wait on the Lord. My encouragement to you right now, if you're feeling like, like you're crushed, just go ahead and say to your situation, say to yourself, say to those around you, I am not crushed. 
I'm pressed. I'm not crushed. I am not going to be destroyed. God is going to form me into something beautiful. God is going to form me into something more powerful than I ever have been before. But I have to believe. I have to understand. I, I have to hang on to his word, which says, I am pressed very gently. It may not feel gentle, but I'm pressed very gently. I am not crushed, which means it's not over. It's not over. Guys, I love you. I'm proud of you. Please feel free to contact me. And if you uh, uh, enjoy this teaching, if you enjoy uh, the topic that, that we talked about here today, then please go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss uh, future videos. God bless you.